Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of What Not to Render. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre of Design Technology. In today's episode I'm going to be looking at not using instances. Now instances are a feature of many, many different modelling applications and render engines. And what they are is a way of duplicating an object without copying it. In other words, they are a way of saying this object is also over here. And if that sounds kind of complicated, I've made a couple of scenes to try and explain it. This is my scene, and it's a load of balls. And as you can see in the object manager, each of these balls is a real sphere. But now here's my second scene, and as you can see, I've only got three spheres. But if I turn on my interactive preview, the result looks the same. And the reason is, I'm using instances to tell Maxwell Render that there are more objects in this scene than it appears. Now I can check my instances by making sure my instance window is open, by going to Window and Instances. It's blank at the moment, and I need to select an object in order to make the instances appear. So I select my bottom sphere, and I can see that the model itself is there, but there are also these instances all around the scene. And these instances will be set up in your modelling application, not inside Maxwell Studio. But what's the point of using instances in the first place? Well, they reduce your file size, because there are not as many objects in the scene as it first appears. You can apply a different material to your instance. For example, if I drag this material onto this instance, you can see that this ball here is now white instead of grey. However, the model itself will always be identical to the object. So why would you want this? Well, instances are used in scenes with lots of components which have exactly the same model. For example, nuts and bolts. And in order to show you the advantages of using instances versus just the objects, I've made a comparative image. So here's my renders. On the left are the objects, or on the right are the instances. These are two separate images which I've put together in Photoshop. Now the first thing to realise is that there's no visible difference between the two sides. The instances look exactly the same as the objects. And the only differences are down below. The instances did take more time to render and had a lower benchmark. This is just a characteristic and is the cost of using instances, but the payoff is the file size. In this case, the scene with the instances was nearly a quarter of the size of the scene with the objects. And in this case, it may still be less than two megabytes even for the objects. But imagine a scene that was two gigabytes that could be taken down to 500 megabytes. That is the payoff. Not using instances when they can save you a whole load of space, that is what not to render. If you'd like to come down and have some hands-on training with Maxwell Render at the University of Brighton Centre of Design Technology, send me an email at maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com or tweet me at jcommon underscore design. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon.